Hello tubers and groovers, welcome to this week's edition of Take the Fear Out of Gear with him, Chumley Warner. And him, Jason Bangers. Now we did a video a little while ago about a Atari Punk, as you may remember. And uh, we'd like to go one step further than that because Simon got a little bit involved with all this uh, soldering business and yeah. I made one and I made something else, I made a reverb unit. I made a drone unit and it is really cool. Now what Simon has here, and I believe you can see it in screen there, if we just angle it up a little bit for you, is a beautifully made. He's done a good job of this, I have to say. Now this is an Atari Punk, but it's got a bit more involved than a standard Atari Punk, but not an awful lot. But there is a man who can tell you all about it and he's sitting right next to me. It's the one and only Chumley Warner. Mr. Really? Chumley Warner, would you like to tell the good folk a bubbles? Yeah. Now what you've got there in your hand. This one's a bit sexier, this one. Just looking at the monitor because it does look sexy, yeah. There we go, so let's put it up a little bit more. Yeah, it's kinky, isn't it? So this one, yeah, it's got the standard Atari Punk, a couple of 555 chips. What we've done on this one, uh, we've added another 555 chip. To, uh, it creates like a little pulse. Another 555 chip? Three, yes. Three 555s? Yeah. Yes, that's the one. Good. Grief. Plus we've got a little, uh, this thing here is called an LDR, which is called a light dependent resistor. So what it does, when you put your finger over it, you, it makes it darker and lighter, so it puts the pitch up and down. Is, so Is that similar to the sort of thing that'll switch a light on, like a, you know, like those, um, you know, you, the lights you can have on the wall and then it senses you and picks it up, is that anything yeah, like yeah. that? Like yeah. A, yes, yeah, same kind of technology. Okay. Uh, apart from that, yeah, you've got... Yeah, same knobs as last time for your pitch on your oscillators up and down. I think one of these is the speed, the little pulse from the other 555 chip. And then what we've done here, next to the, you can put your LDR on and off. And these ones, these make and break the circuits. So the LDR then, you can switch it in and out, yeah? Yeah. So, so it doesn't have to be on all the time? No, at the moment it's not on and then put it on and then you can... Clever. Do that. Clever. And the good thing about these circuits is sometimes when you break a circuit, you get a different sound. So it's like cutting a wire, but you just have a little switch to do that with. And it also works well if you cut the power sometimes, you get like a bzzz. Oh, a capacitor discharge. Yeah, yeah. So that, that works well. So you could, you could probably get a thermal loop going as well, couldn't you, if you wired up? Yeah, I do. Switch. I like a thermal loop. Everybody likes a thermal yeah, loop. Yeah, thermal they? loops are good. Yeah. <laughs> we've got no fires today. No. Because we've got the electric safe one now. We've had to have our gas cut off because it was dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I saw the other videos. I had the gas been rammed, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, Jeff, yeah. Jeff went a bit crazy, didn't he? Yeah. Just, we said turn it on and it, you know, you saw what it did. It That's why Jeff wasn't control. in the last video because he was sacked for the day, but he's here today. No, Jeff's here, yeah. Yeah, he went about out of control last time. Yeah, good one, Jeff. Did a good job, Sam. Yeah. Good job. Now he's on the camera instead of the fire. Yeah, there we go. It don't move it though, Jeff, just keep it steady. Yeah. Thanks. Shall we switch this on then? Um, okay, so like Is the it? last like the last video, we're gonna um, we're gonna send audio down through the H6, so it should be good and clear for you. All. You won't hear the room mic on the camera, so that's what we're doing. I like to explain that. I don't know why. I just do. Well, some people wonder how it all works, don't they? So and we're monitoring yeah. because some people might not have seen the first video about the Atari mm. Punk, but we're monitoring through the. LC Prime, which I am pointing out right down there, so I'm looking at our monitor, and uh, that is a good little tool because it's very useful, apart from the guitars and that, which we showed you for. It's mm. useful for monitoring anything, yeah. i.e., this. Go on, sorry, give me a demo, son. Give me well, a demo. Well, we'll try anyway. Right, let's, let's, I'll turn it around this All way right. so I can see. Here Hold on to your seats, people. Yeah, here we go. <laughs>
gas at a discharge. Exactly right. It sounded like it's got a step sequencer on it, or a sequencer or something. Is there a sequencer built into that? It's, it's just a little same, because we've got another 555 chip. It's just creating a pulse, so we get that nice pulse. So who finds this stuff out? I mean, so we know that 255s will play around with each other's heads and make it uh, modulate. But who discovers that if you put another 55 chip in, it will step like that? Well, Who I, figures that stuff out, man? Uh, all the clever people. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we found the schematic, or we, we just, I think maybe with this one, we just messed around and added more stuff until. He did, I didn't. As to that one's beyond my capabilities of what's, what wiring and soldering and figuring out. Where did you find it? Sorry, I butted in. No, I think I think we got the idea off the internet, but we just we just added stuff, and I say we we added the little cutout switches and that. You but, can do that. Yeah. You can do, there are no rules. No, don't be scared to try it, as someone else says. Yes. Don't be scared to try it. Go to Rapids, there are other electrical shops available. Although Maplin's is shut down now, I believe. CPC still going. Yeah. But uh, Rapids would do all this stuff. And you can buy it all online now anyway, but if you've got a local Rapids, go there. They'll they sort you out, because mm. usually, when you make something like this, it's a lot of stuff, isn't it? It's yeah. it, it, it seems more intimidating than it is, believe me. But when you buy it all, you've got a lot of stuff in the packet, and you're like, hmm, you know, it looks a bit intimidating. You usually have to buy five at a time, or like if you want to buy one of these uh, these little buttons here, say you might have to buy a pack of ten or a pack yeah. of five, but they're they're not expensive, you know, really not expensive. So really, what else does that do, dude? Well, as I say, we've had it, I haven't, it, we are not making the video too long because it just, there's switches for like switching the oscillators in and out. It does a lot more than what, you know, it was just a real basic thing. Once you get playing with it, you can, you can, like with this one, because you've got the pulse, you can actually, you probably heard that you can make a bit of a song up by putting like a, like a bass line, you can make it up and down. It's easier to do because of the pulse. A bit more controllable. I would like to see some more of that LDR action, dude. Shall we see what we can do? Yeah, yeah this is the uh, light diode resistor, is it? Light dependent resistor. I knew it was something like that. It's, just, it's dependent of light, and if you block the light, it changes the frequency, you see. But as you take your finger away from it, it then gets more light, and therefore it affects the sound, bends yeah. the circuit. Yeah. Right? yeah, pitch goes up and down yeah. as you've got more or less light. Let's just see Will it, it work into complete darkness? If you turned all the lights off and you was in a jet black room, would that thing still work? It wouldn't, would it? Uh, I think so. It would either be really high or really low. We should, I can't remember which way. We should have brought a torch in that flashed real fast and put it on. Good point, yeah, because if you've got, especially if you've got one of those new torches that strobe, yeah, they're many again, it's like a little sequencer. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn, we should have brought one in, shouldn't we? We should have but, done. But you can do that, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah that's a good idea, I actually. I wish I brought one in with me now. Yeah, we've done that before. Yeah, come on in. Put your finger on and off this thing. Get it going. Well, let's just see if we can get it. I'm sure it worked when we did it the first time. It did work. Is it, has these all got to be in certain... Because I know why it's yeah. why that, if something's got to be on for that to work, isn't it? I mean, I know you've got an off switch for it, but... I think it's become self-aware. It's become self-aware. <laughs> it's, it's saying on... Oh. I reckon Jeff touched it, don't you reckon? Jeff, we told you... All right, just leave it, Jeff. So he, we, we leave Jeff alone because he's giving me dirty looks. <laughs> oh, we should have got a torch. <laughs> We might have to have a break and just we go might have to have a, We might have to pause this video. But I'm, I'm concerned, though, that it didn't work at all. We can't. It's no good getting the torch if it don't friggin' work, is it? So, 
And now we've behind the scenes, we've had a little look at it. Yeah, we, needed, we still didn't get the torch out, did we? <laughs> no, we, didn't, we had to do a bit of a refresher. So what we do, switch it on. And you're back in the room. Now you can hear our little monitor now, can't you? You can hear it coming back. But, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a crazy thing, baby. It's a crazy oh, thing. Man, that's, but, a, uh, that, that's an Atari <laughs> Punk with attitude, but basically, it's, it's, it's what's different about it. It's got an extra chip, so it might get pulse, it might get sort of sequence almost. And you've got an LDR on there with a button that you have to push to access the LDR, which we've just realised, even though Simon built it himself. I built it a while ago now, so everyone needs a little refresher course. I think if you cock up, you should play the A string on the double bass just once. Thank you. That's what you have to do when you cock up on this show. So I think that just about covers it, sorry, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a groovy little pop. It's brilliant fun. Yeah. And um, if you want to make music, go check out a guy called Look Mum No Computer. He makes all this kind of stuff and he does it well and he really gets good tunes out of them. But he, he's clever. He uses controlled voltage to make sure the notes are pitch perfect and you can run them off sequences and stuff like that. Is there any more you want to say about that side before I shut us down here? Well, I suppose the, I suppose the only thing you can say is once you've made a, a basic Atari Punk, you can add some more, and then you've got your chaos box, and it's just nice to experiment. That's, you know. I guess if you just make a, a bog standard Atari Punk, you can actually lick your finger, <clears throat> go inside where you've soldered some wires, and, sh and just touch it, and, show, and you'll hear different sounds. And if you find one that's particularly good, you can actually bridge that and put a potentiometer between that. And then you've got another function on an Atari Punk, so it's really quite that simple. But for this edition of Take the Fear Out of Gear, it's goodbye from him, Chumley Warner. And it's goodbye from him, Mr. Jason Bangers. See you soon, Cheapers and Groovers. See you soon.